Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Vlogmas Day 5 and today's video is decluttering books. I was at my parents' house in New Zealand last week and I decided to help them declutter their books. A lot of them are old childhood books of mine but some were mums and some were dads as well. So I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so here is a whole lot of stuff I've pulled out from the bookshelf in my old bedroom, my childhood bedroom, and some of it has come from the closet as well, like one of the top shelves, and mum's asked me if I can go through it. She's already grabbed a couple of things that she wants to keep, and um, I'll set some things aside that I think they might want to just double check before I pack things up to donate and recycle and that kind of thing. But yeah, it's funny, it looks kind of compact in the bookshelf, but when you lay it all out on the floor, as you can see, it's there's a huge amount. And um, yeah, so I reckon I can go through and get rid of quite a lot of stuff here. All right, let's get cracking. This is what we've ended up with. This is Mum's pile of books that she's keeping. These are Dad's, which I'm going to get him to look through and check. He definitely wants to keep like the rugby books. It's the All Blacks there. And then these are books which I pulled out from my childhood bookcase, which I'm going to take home and read to my son. And if I don't think my daughter will be interested, I'll donate them. But yeah, this is the four four books four little books two of those are little golden books they don't take up much room and the secret island by inner blight and that was one of my favorite books when i was younger but guys check out this retro cookbook it is so cool i remember looking at this when i was a little girl this is like from the 60s i think it's the good housekeeping cooking compendium and i just remember flicking through this book when i was a kid and looking at all the yummy like puddings and stuff and mum actually wants to keep this one and it's, it's a really cool old book actually and I just remember flicking through this as a child and thinking oh yummy look at the oh my god look at that I mean some of the what what is that that is it's like a braised roast or something but some of the stuff is like a lost art look there's a recipe here for for grilled sheep's kidneys. Yeah, I don't know about that. But yeah, there's just, oh, baked eggs. How to make an omelette. Yeah, I just love the pictures, they're so retro. This huge pile is a huge pile of stuff that's gonna be donated to charity. It's a huge pile of books. Some of it's mum's, some of it's dad's and some of it's mine and mum's had a look through everything and told me what she wanted to keep and I think mum's done really really well and I've got to check with dad dad is the one who tends to want to keep things but he's been pretty open-minded to this process actually this is mum's old book becoming a mother this is probably from the late 60s I would say that is really idealizing motherhood right there isn't it and in this pile, you can see there's quite a few books here that are like falling apart and there's this odd random bits of paper I found in their bookcase and some books which are so out of date that no one will want them because they're just so out of date. Like there are books from the 80s and 90s that no one will want and they're not really relevant anymore. So these are going to go in the recycle pile. As you can see, the Little House on the Prairie books, which are the ones on top, have clearly seen better days. I used to read and read and read these and as you can see I've just I totally wore these out and I actually bought these books like a book box set like brand new 
I think a few years ago because I just love these books so much and I bought them for my kids. And then these books, I had no idea that mum had kept these. These are books that I was given at school for like winning like a prize for being like the first in a certain subject in my school year. So what I've done, I've just um, ripped out where it had like my name and school and everything and then I'm going to donate the books. And then over here is another little bookshelf in my parents lounge where these are all dad's books and you can see we've made a little hole where mum and I started clearing out a few books which we know he won't want and then I'm just going to go through the rest of them with dad and see. I think he definitely wants to keep the gardening books and some of the cooking books and I think that book, this huge book, that's been there ever since I can remember. Like I think mum bought that for dad before I was born as a gift so I think that one's been kept. So that is a huge pile of stuff clearing out. And um, yeah, some of these are like old Marilyn Monroe books, which I thought I'd gotten rid of a few years ago, and I've already gotten rid of the ones that I have back in my house in Sydney. But um, yeah, this is a really beautiful book actually, but I'm not going to use it, so it can go to someone who does want to use it and might collect Marilyn memorabilia. So yeah, pretty. Pretty good effort. Very, very happy with that. Very proud of mum and dad for letting go of some of this stuff as well. So guys, I hope you found this helpful and I hope it motivated you to do a clear out of books in your home. I think mum was pleasantly surprised at how much we managed to put in the donation and recycle piles. I'm not sure if dad would have sneakily gone and taken some back out of the piles after I left their place, but I guess I'll see next time I go and visit them. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you tomorrow for another day of Vlogmas. Bye!